Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back again after a long time. First of all, shout out to this month pattern supporters Melissa New and Jamrol. It means a lot to us, which help us to make more tutorial for you guys. As the video title says, we are going to talk about new Android features. That is the previous method of binding element is replaced by the view binding. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can implement view binding in your application. What are its advantages over find view ID and so on. So let's do it. First of all, you need to fulfill certain requirement to use view binding in your application. First, you have to have an Android Studio version 3.6, Canary 11 plus. And second, you have to have Android Gradle plugin 3.6 or higher. After updating your Android Studio to 3.6 and Gradle version 3.6, you are ready to use this feature in your application. So let's do it. Open up Android Studio. And then click on start new android studio project select the empty activity click next and give your project name and then select your language i'm going to use java and then click finish gradle build successfully now go to your gradle and then you need to add this flowing code in your gradle that is in f level of gradle not in project level gradle so open up a level gradle and inside this android what you need to use is view binding and then enable it to true now you need to sync your gradle click that sync now it may take some time gradle sync successfully after syncing the gradle android studio will generate one binding class for your layout with the name same as your layout file but start with capital letter means camel case representation and add the word binding to the end means if your layout file name is first of all let me show our file name layout our file layout file name is activity underscore main dot xml now what android studio will generate for us is the class name that will uh, start with capital A and then remove this underscore sign and then capital M and then at the end binding. So go to this activity file. Now we are going to add some controls uh, in this activity file. So text, text view, and then arrange it little bit. Now give this ID txt name and you can also increase the font size from the property and remove that text. Now again go to common and drag on button and arrange this button also. Give the button ID btn click. And then change the button text to click and increase the font size there you go now what you need to do is you need to go to your main activity dot java class and inside that class you need to create the variable name of that generated binding class so private our generated binding class name is activity main binding and then binding there you go this is the auto generated binding class name this is the same name as our layout file name but in the camel case representation and adding this binding or at the end we create the variable name of that class now let's talk about previous method of binding the element we declare our controls inside this class and we initialize those control inside this onCreate method and we use find view by id and we pass the id of the control that we give in our xml file but here in view binding what we need to do is number one we need to call the static method in which is include in generated binding class 
this creates an instance of the binding class for the activity to use number two get the reference to the root view by calling the get root method number three pass the root view to set content view method to make it the active view on the screen so now let's do it inside this uncreate method binding is equal to activity main binding dot inflate get layout inflator view view is equal to binding dot get root and first of all import this class alt plus enter and set content view and then here goes view that's it you just need to use this line of code to binding all the elements of our xml file now i am going to tell you how to access the control of the our xml file so in order to access the control of the xml file what we need to do is binding dot txt name that is the id that we give in our activity underscore main dot xml file dot set text text support name now how to call the button binding dot btn click dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and here i am going to display on message those dot make text get application context and then toast dot length long dot so that's all now run your application activity launch successfully now oh so we forget to do one thing go to activity underscore main dot xml file and you need to click this in for constant icon uh, if you do not uh, do so what it says is at the run time the view will jump to zero zero so all the elements will overlap so click that in for constant now uh, run again activity launch successfully there you go text support map is set on the text view and when i click this button message should display button is clicked that's all this is what i want to show you in this video so use this new android feature in your application also and if you have any confusion while using this new feature in your application you can comment your query in our comment section below and we will happy to help you now let's talk about what are the advantage of using this view binding the first advantage is null save since view binding creates direct reference to the view there is no risk of null pointer exception due to an invalid view id when you are calling in your application uh, inside the onCreate method number two is type save there is no risk of class uh, cast exception that means when you are going to initialize your control inside the onCreate method there may be some class cast exception in the previous method of binding the elements but in view binding there is no such exception so this is type shape number three faster compilation than the data binding and the last one is easy to use which uh, you see in the example so that's all if you like this video give thumbs up and share this video with your friends so that they can use this new feature in their android application also and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel also and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye i will see you in the next video tutorial